Stop touching things. This is the Star Wars Show from the Lucasfilm headquarters in San Francisco. Here's your hosts, Andy and Anthony. Hello and welcome to the Star Wars Show, the only Star Wars show on the internet that usually stretches for time in the intro. But not today, we've got a lot of show to get to. News time. Hey, hey kid. You want to see some exclusive, never-before-seen footage from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker? Then you might want to make plans for this Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern. That's because director J.J. Abrams will drop into Risky Reels in Fortnite to debut the clip. For more information about the Live from Risky Reels event in Fortnite, check out this link. And speaking of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, we're once again going to be broadcasting live from the red carpet during the world premiere this Monday. The live stream will be broadcast exclusively on StarWars.com, our YouTube channel, and on our Twitter and Facebook pages. And you can be part of it too. We want to see quick 6 to 10 second videos of you telling us your thoughts on the following questions. Who would be your droid companion while exploring the galaxy? Which cutie from the Rise of Skywalker are you looking forward to meeting, Claude or Babu Frick? Which character are you most excited to see? And which side calls to you, light side or dark side and why? Simply submit a video per question to us using the hashtag SWS red carpet and you might see yourself on screen. You can experience it all live with us beginning at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time on December 16th. For more information about the Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker world premiere red carpet live stream with moments powered by Verizon 5G, check out StarWars.com. Star Wars Family is presented by eBay, a joint effort between the British Journal of Photography and Lucasfilm has launched a brand new website and video. The video interviews the families who are the subjects of the photos, giving you a first-hand look at how Star Wars has affected their lives in their own words. It's a really good video. To watch it and to look at the photos, head to StarWarsFamilies.com. Shifting gears now, with the launch of Disney+, Plus, a lot of people have been going back and re-watching the original films recently. Which is why we thought it would be a fun idea to see what the trench run would look like if all the actors were replaced by adorable tiny animals. Believe it, because we did it in the following segment presented by our friends at GEICO. All wings report in. Red 10 standing by. Red 9 standing by. Red 3 standing by. Red 6 standing by. Red 2 standing by. Red 5 standing by. Lock air spoils in attack position. We're passing through the magnetic field. Hold tight. Go through the flexes on double shot. Cover me, Porkins. I'm right with you, Red 3. Got a problem here. Jet! I can hold it! No, I'm all... The Rebel base will be in firing range in seven minutes. Luke, trust your feelings. <laughs> Watch it, you've got one on your tail! <laughs> One up, watch it. I can't see it. I'll be right there. Watch your back. Fighters above you coming in. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Hang on back there. I'm on him, Luke. Hold on. <laughs> Thanks, Wedge. <laughs> We're going in, we're going in full throttle. It's just like Beggar's Canyon back home. We're too easy to get lock it down. I'm in! I can't stay with you. Sorry! Hurry, Luke, they're coming in much faster. R2 trying to increase the power.
Welcome, sir. I'm Anthony. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Great set. Wow, you lot got the proper materials and stuff. It smells like set. This is very impressive. Ryan and his guys over there built it. Well done, Ryan and guys. Jonas, welcome back, buddy. I've missed you. I've missed you too, man. I feel so chilled in this room. TLJ, you were always so nervous for everything, and now you're I like... I was so nervous, and now I'm like, whatever. Such a pro. <laughs> this base was supposed to be unfindable. Yeah, right, well, that's what you say about every base, <laughs> and what happens every time. I better fire our base hider. Was there any moment during your time with Star Wars that stands out as like the one memory that sums it all up that you'll remember forever. Hello, what have we here? <laughs> okay, my life has peaked. That's my moment when I'm like, that's what everything was about. There seems to be a disturbance in the force. <laughs> yeah, welcome back, baby. Uh, we have done this so many times over the last couple months. I know. And Are you still exhausted? Getting, and you're getting it wrong every time. Yeah? I just do not understand. What this. can I do better? More respect. More respect. Can't do a chair that is lower than mine. Just jumping right in, gonna write the final chapter of the Skywalker saga, huh? Just heading right in there. Straight to final Jeopardy. Yeah. On this film, it was all about the characters and all about the story, really. It felt like we were just alone with the characters. And that, for a lifelong fan, it's your dream. One thing that I have loved so far about everything we've seen is it looks like you all get to play together so much more in this one. Isn't that true? Yeah. Reading the script, the most exciting thing, we're on a journey together and wherever it will take us remains to be seen. We don't want to give anything away. Now you can give it away. <laughs> <laughs> it starts with the rebel base hider. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just going to jump right into it. The internet's fascination with Poe and Finn's relationship. Mm. How do you feel about it? What's your angle on it? I feel very happy and excited about it. Yeah. I'm ready to take it to the next level. People don't understand how much we just have a special friendship in real life. We always knew that people are actually going to dig this brotherhood that we've got. And I think nine is the opportunity to actually show way more. Well, we couldn't pass up a moment to immortalize your friendship with Oscar, so we made you that is so best sweet. friends in the galaxy <laughs> t-shirt here. Oscar's gonna love that. Hey. <laughs> that's really special, man. Yeah. Frighteningly special. Yeah, that's how people describe us. Frighteningly special. <laughs> I'm gonna add this to the stash. We've talked to you a few times during this process leading up to this movie, and you're the new kid on the block. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you're the only person where it's really fair to be like, how has your life changed since ah. you've stepped into Star Wars? I think maybe my friends and family have more interest in me. <laughs> my life has changed in so many ways. I'm going to so many different places that I've never been to before and talking to so many people that I otherwise wouldn't have like gotten to know. Genuinely, I think I keep on saying it, but it's the gift that keeps on giving. We don't know much about your character Nor yet. Me. Can you tell us a little bit about him? There's no sense of humor. He's evil incarnate. He kills people mm -hmm. and he's just really bad. I love it. So good. <laughs> Carrie. Yes. Something I've been wondering. When you are in the costume and you're in the helmet and somebody takes a picture of you, do you smile under the helmet? You'll never know. <laughs> That's what's amazing. Yeah. I could be doing anything I want. How often are you doing something inappropriate under the helmet? A lot of times. Yeah. Does it ever get normal seeing your face on everything? No. No? It was quite exciting driving down Sunset Boulevard and seeing a very big poster. I thought my head couldn't look larger. So that's exciting to see it be really large. Have you ever given people gifts of your merch? No. 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 As in re-gifted if I didn't want it, but I wasn't like, here, let me wrap up a picture of my own face and gift it to you. We have heard from many, many people that you beatbox very often on set. Could we perhaps hear some of that? A wildly unfair, uh, <laughs> borderline cruelty, I would say. In truth, I don't really beatbox. When you're given a microphone, if you hit the top of it, it is a wonderful kick drum. If you hit the side of it, it's born to be a snare. If I had a microphone, I could sort of demonstrate, but I don't have one. Okay. I'm sorry to say. Sure. No, that's fair, and I appreciate your candor, oh sir. Oh my God, I can't believe you just asked me to do it. You're there, Grunberg's there. Is there like a Speedman there or a Foley there? Do we get like a Felicity thing going on again? Just well, like I said, because you don't know who's under those. I mean, everybody's in a helmet, right? Helmets. There were a lot of like, hey, for the, uh, <laughs> for the stormtroopers. Hey, hey, hey. What is the thing that you are the most tired of answering? What is it like to be in Star Wars? Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting from time to time. Yeah. It's hard work from time to time. It's fun. It's difficult from time to time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So please don't ask me that question. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. We can just wrap it up. I don't think they like the way we're talking to each other. I know. And so I'm they're getting. I'm getting this. Okay. <laughs> ask, ask, ask me an approved thing. I don't. I. What was it like to be in Star Wars? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've got a couple of real hard-hitting questions Great. here for you. So 1999 was a big year for Star Wars. Yes. Episode one came out. It was also a big year for you. You were in the movie Spice World, yes. which is also another favorite of ours. I love Spice World, the movie. Now, Spice World and Star Wars have a lot in common. We're going to list off some things that are in both movies, and I want you to tell me which has the better. I love games. Okay, yes. cool. Right off the bat, strong female characters. I want to say Star Wars on that. I'm so sorry, Spice Girls. I'm going to have to say Star Wars. Chase sequences. Spice World. I think they had run in heels, I remember that. Oh, the jump over 
over Tower Bridge. Iconic. Buzz World. <laughs> Memorable music. <laughs> I love John Williams. But Spice World. Oh. No, I've got to go with John Williams. Star Wars. Spice I grew up on Spice because they were my first album. Which has better strong female characters? Spice World. More memorable music? Spice World. Better Richard E. Grant performance? Um, <laughs> pass. <laughs> Oh, we're back home at Star Wars Galaxy's oh, Edge. It feels so good to be back in Black Spire Outpost. Yes, it does. We are at Walt Disney World Resort in Florida because the new attraction, Rise of the Resistance, has just opened. Now, this doesn't open in Disneyland in Anaheim, California until January 17th. Right around the corner. We're here, and it's open now. As long as we're here. All I'm saying is that we're here. When in Batuu. Now under first order control. Right this way to the detention cell. What? <laughs> wow, this is massive. It's huge. It's huge. Woo! Oh, we're just standing here at a first order hangar with Greg Johnson from Walt Disney Imagineering. Greg, this is massive. Was it like working on an attraction this incredible? It's an absolute dream come true. I mean, we've been working on this for so many years now, and to see it go from drawings and dirt into this building and creating this universe that people have seen in the films for so long, and now you're stepping into it, and I mean, look behind us, right? There's real stormtroopers right there that are taking us prisoner. This is so cool. This is where DJ Rex plays <laughs> First Order Bar Mitzvahs. Uh -huh. This is such an ambitious undertaking. What were some of the unique challenges that you faced? It's the scale of it, and getting all the different parts and pieces to come together to create these awesome spaces. It takes such a massive team and so much coordination between it. We've just had hundreds and hundreds of people working on this over the course of the last several years, and seeing it all come together now and overcoming those challenges is, has been extremely rewarding. Oh. Oh, all right. This is a Star War. <laughs> this is was there something sort of new or interesting that was created for this attraction that you're particularly proud of? I know there's a lot of new stuff in here. I think some of our audio animatronic figures, we're always looking to raise the bar with those, and I think we knew with some of our iconic Star Wars characters in this attraction, we had to make them real and imposing and in our guest face. So I think that's one of the things we're most proud of is they're all over this attraction. We have so many audio animatronics. You can't just hold us here, man. You chose the wrong side. What do you hope people leave this thing thinking, feeling? What do you want them to get out of it? I hope that they really, truly felt like they got to live their Star Wars story, their Star Wars adventure. We know there's gonna be a lot of people that this is gonna be their first interaction with Star Wars. And we hope that this attraction and this land and everything we've done can leave that same wow impression on people that the first films did decades ago. And we hope it blends in as well as everything else has. Oh, trackless! Oh, oh. <laughs> never experienced anything quite like that. That was unbelievable. I think almost every ride system you are used to is stacked on top of each other yes. in this one. It's very good. One more time, yeah? Let's go. Yeah. You're watching the Star Wars show. We're in Levi's Stadium. We got Solomon Thomas and DJ Jones with us from the 49ers. Thanks so much for having us, guys. Of course, we appreciate y'all coming out. Well, we came down to play a little bit of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order because y'all have been playing it, right? We have been, yeah. It's been a lot of talk in the locker room. So where are we going to be playing? You, you guys have like a TV in the locker room or whatever? Well, we normally just play at home, but today they're letting us play on the big screen on the Jumbotron, so that's going to be super fun. All right, well, let's jump into it. Let's get it. All right, one thing everyone needs to know about the game, it's a very hard game. <laughs> right. It is. Uh oh. Where are you going? I was, I, wow, <laughs> wow. I believe in you. Okay. We're up against the ninth sister right now. What's good? There you uh, go. Yeah. Now you got it. Yes. Yes, <laughs> fine. No, oh. no. <laughs> I did not do well. You got to run yeah. in the battle, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Whether you know you're going to win or lose. Oh, All, right. All right. All right. You just doing it. You just doing it. Never oh. mind. Never mind. Spoke too soon. Did y'all bring us here to actually win today? Or? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I'm really impressed with how good the game looks on that screen, though. Yeah. Oh, the graphics are insane. You see this tear falling out of my right eye? <laughs> <laughs> Help me! Help me! Help me, please! Oh, Help me, please! Oh, she was not hey, letting up that I'm here time. For you, bro. All right, here we go. This, this is the one. This I is it. it. I can feel it. We're strong with the force. We got this. Yeah, no, we you got it. You, you, you got it. Rhythm. There you go. You got it. Let's run from you now. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Woo. Nice wow. block. Nice block. Oh, oh, oh you, got you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Last week, we asked you what your favorite memes from The Mandalorian were. And boy, howdy, there were a lot. Yeah, a couple of memes on the internet, huh? I had noticed. 
Crazy Pencil Comics chimed in with a recreation of the Real Housewives yelling at a cat meme with Mando yelling at a Jawa. Tyler Ellis chimed in with a triptych of cute vying for the championship. Sarah Sue sent us a Mean Girls take on Beskar. And Jedi Joshua gave a shout out to every library's take on the soup sipping child. Knowledge is power, y'all. As always, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you. For more information about the of yeah. <laughs> then you might want to make plans <laughs> for this Saturday at 2 p.m. Really Eastern. Good. Evolutionary. Sorry. <laughs>